Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Megan Zimba from MTD CNC, and we're here at Chippewa Valley Technical College, and we're gonna talk to some of the students who are involved with the program. So today I have Shelby Brown. Shelby, Correct. how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good. So what year are you here at CVTC? This is my second semester. Okay. So. so can you give me a general idea of how you found out about CNC machining? Because I don't see a lot of women in industry right. in so, CNC machining. <laughs> it's more of a family thing. My father's kind of worked in foundries for a while and I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I worked with him at the foundry and he kind of picked me around, threw me around a little bit. So I found what I was interested in and I ended up here. So what was big. it about the foundry space that you really enjoyed? Uh, more, it's just something different and it's challenging. It's something that you don't see a lot of women in. Yeah, for it's, sure. Yeah, my mom was in it as well and Were she you, really liked it. And So are you competitive then? A little bit. I have Kiri Black with me today. She is one of the students here. How are you doing, Kiri? Good, how are you? Really good. I really like your name, by the way. Thank you. Very interesting. So Kiri, you are here at CVTC. I'm so glad I'm getting that acronym correct because we have too many in manufacturing and engineering. Yep. Um, what inspired you to take this course? Um, well, it all started in high school when I started working on the manuals, the manual mill, manual oh, okay. lathe. And I didn't really know a whole lot about the CNC's until I actually, well, my last job, but here's where it really dove deep into it. Okay, so, how did you pick it in high school? Cause we uh, had shop classes in high school. Oh, okay. There, I was the only woman in those programs too, so. That's awesome, were you like the best student too? I don't know if I'd go that far, Okay, but. You can say that, it's fine. <laughs> Katie, thank you for joining me today real quick. So what inspired you to come to CVTC for CNC machining? Well, people at work actually talked me into it and everything, because I work at Henry Repeating Arms. Oh, okay. And we deal with CNC machines and making guns and stuff. So there was a lot of people at work that talked me into it. So you everything. started so. in manufacturing already. Yes. What were you doing there before CNC machining? I was working as a cashier. Oh, really? Yeah. That's super so, cool. As a so cashier. when they were encouraging you about CNC machining, did you even know what it was? Like, yeah. Outside of like seeing it, but did you yes. know everything that was involved no. with it? Okay. Not even close. I was an operator and everything at Henry, so I was just filing parts, and then okay. they were like, well, you're good at math, and you like, you're like detail-oriented, so why don't you try this stuff? And I was like, oh, okay, and I liked okay. it and enjoyed it, and then they were like, well, CVTC is a program, and they talked me into coming down here, so I was like, why not? I'm hanging out with Jake Rowe. Hi, Jake, how are you? Good, how are you? I am really well. I heard you have a twin brother. I do. That is identical? I'm actually a triplet. Other one's not in school, though. Your mom is awesome. That is amazing. So are you, are all of you, so the, you said the third one isn't involved in nope. CNC machining. Okay, but two of you are. Yep. Awesome, okay. What inspired you to be in CNC machining? Tell us a little bit about your family history. So my dad's been in machining since he graduated high school. Okay. So I've always visited his machine shop. I've always gone there. Okay. But up until five years ago, he bought his own machine shop and I've been working there ever since. Very me cool. And my brother. Now, did you want to work there or was it like an extra chore that your dad put you up to? It was to? kind of a chore, but kind I've of always chore? enjoyed making things with my hands. And yeah, stuff. that's awesome. So what uh, encouraged you to come here to Chippewa Valley? Um, so I know a couple guys that went here and one of the guys that works for my dad, he went here too. And it was just a good program to start out with and go to. Yeah. Are you taking what you learned here and bringing it to your dad's shop? Definitely. I, I've known some stuff before I came here, but not a lot. and I've grown very much. Um, so with this particular program, what are some of the things that you're working on? Okay, right now I'm making a can crusher. Um, a can crusher? Yes. That's cool. Yep. Do you get to keep it? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. So what are some of the challenging things that you get frustrated with or really enjoy trying to figure out? I think you put a lot of time into very small details mm -hmm. and sometimes those details and those small things don't go your way yeah. and then you have to rework them over and over and over again. I'm really learning how to run the CNC's, make more precision parts mm -hmm. that are easier. Um, one thing that I really like is when you get your final product and you know that you made that from start to finish. That's awesome. So are you currently working and combining the skill set that you're learning here with the job that you have? I am, yeah. I work at Menominee Machine Tool for Tom Karras. What's one of the things that you're looking forward to after getting your degree here? Really 
not just so much setting up a machine, but doing like we do here, start to finish. You did the whole entire process of it. Mm -hmm. And the final product is what you made and you can go around and like see things that you make components for and be like, yeah, I made something for that. So what about this specific program do you like the best? How helpful the instructors are. Yeah? Yeah. How did you like going from learning the very basics of CNC machining to working on advanced parts and advanced CNC machines? How was that journey for you? I found it pretty easily, pretty easy to come to me because of the experience I've had at Henry's with mm -hmm. it. So are you now CNC machining at Henry? Yes, I have been for half a year already or so, so. And yeah. then has this course helped you be a better machinist there? Yes. 100%? Yes. Jake, to anyone that might be stuck on where to go after they graduate high school, what would you tell them about CNC machining and why they should think about pursuing it as a career? It's a fun career. It not only makes good money, but you learn a lot here. You can grow anywhere and eventually hope you own your own business one day. I think it's a good career field because it's always going to be around no matter what. We're always going to be manufacturing. You're never not going to have a job. There's always going to be local jobs. Wherever you want to go, you're going to find it. Mm -hmm. And then I think CVTC is a good choice because of all the instructors. Every single one you can go to about anything in your life or just at school, they're always there to help. I would say pick this college because other places don't give you like the knowledge that you get here, like mm -hmm. with starting on the manuals, like you even grind your own bits and everything. Yeah. So you really start from scratch. I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you have a favorite okay. instructor? My favorite instructor is Dave Thompson. <laughs> Dave, plug your ears. Um, Wade Lutz. Awesome. They have you great instructor? instructors. They have great instructors. Who is your favorite instructor? Dave. Dave. <laughs> Dave's my favorite. It's a fun career. It not only makes good money, but you learn a lot here. You can grow anywhere and eventually hope you own your own business one day. That's awesome. Well, Jake, thank you so much for taking time away from your project. I really appreciate it. Oh, all good. So we got four students, so stay tuned because we're gonna mesh them together. So if you're looking for a great opportunity to start CNC machining and you're here in Wisconsin, be sure to check out Chippewa Valley Technical College. Thanks everybody.